Hello there, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We have played a little bit off camera, um, getting ready for update 10, which is now here. I uh, just ran a couple of vaults, focusing mainly on gold since we were down to about 40. We're now up to 75. That's not too bad. And if I go over here, uh, well, we've got about another eight or nine platinums. So, so we should be fairly good on the gold front for now, which is good because we have a few things to make. Update 10 added the jewel applicator and the jewel cutting station. And I should have pretty much everything I need to craft these right away, except for the driftwood planks, which are very easy to make. We're going to want six of these. And, uh, they have a nice weathered effect. So if you want to do a weathered pattern, I don't know where I would do it, but yeah. Um, what? Let's, uh, actually let's do, uh, there we go. Driftwood. We've got all these different textures. So actually you could fully do, if I want to, I could fully integrate them into my room to make them, make the room have a weathered effect. Don't know if I'm going to do that. Don't know how much I'm going to use them. Uh, we want this one. Oh, we need an anvil quickly. Ah, that's easy enough. But now we have a cutting station and a jewel applicator. So, I don't have my tools on me. I know. Let's find my... Here we go. My vanilla immortality hammer. We can stick this in here. It renders on the station. And you can now add jewels. Let's find a... Just, for, just to give you an example. You can put this here. I'll show you how much capacity will be left and what it adds. Now I'm not going I'm not going to actually add this. I don't need it. But I do want to add hammering size to this. So let's do Here we go. We have three four hammering gems. Let's grab these two. And we need silver scrap and bronze. And look, you see it renders in there also. That's pretty cool. And now there's a 50% chance every time you click this that a chipped jewel will break. If you use a perfect jewel or any other jewel with multiple modifiers, there's a 50% chance you'll lose one of those modifiers every time you try to lower it. But now it's went from a, it's a 38 down to a 28. And now it broke. When it breaks, you can you can get gemstones and wittedite back. If you want silver scrap back, you have to toss it in a vault recycler. So I do want to lower this. I do want to try to get a hammering jewel. Mm, that one broke also. I do want to try to get hammering jewel down to ideally 10 because then I can add two. However, if I can get 13, that would also work. Or I could just go up to 25 since that will fit and just boost the hammering up by one. So this will now do a five by five instead of a three by three. Let's just do that. So now I have a five by five hammer instead of a three by three. And that's going to go back in here since that's just for when I'm working in the overworld. But if you've noticed my inventory, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff in here. It's because I made a mistake the other episode when we were talking about setting up modular routers with vault tools. Well, vault weapons. You see, you need a security upgrade in order to get the vault weapons to work in a modular router. So if we run all the way down here, I can pull this out. Toss. Do I need to configure this at all? Let's add that to that 
and then add that sword. And I think I have pigs in there. Yeah. That's now working properly. And because it's a vault tool, a uh, vault weapon, it takes no damage. So we're going to pull that out. We'll leave it in to kill the pigs. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the sweeper arm. We're going to remove the fan and this down here. And instead, we're going to install modular routers every... Well, install them so there's a 3x3 three three around each of them. So we should be able to fit 4 in here and 4 in the ceiling. Hook them up to this ender block. Um, ender block. Ender power cell. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the ender cell. And we should be able to... Well... It'll be an upgrade and because it has vault weapons in it and all my vault weapons have pretty good damage modifiers. They should be able to one shot anything, including creepers and maybe even endermen. So we won't have to worry about getting gunpowder anymore. So I'm going to cut away, install everything, hopefully not kill myself in the process, and then we'll be back. And just putting in the final touches, we have swords. Energy upgrades, security upgrades, and the activators, which I had to go adjust all them because I had them on action instead of, uh, sorry, I had them on right click instead of attack. So, uh, fix that. Now they will attack mobs, and because of the security upgrade, they will not attack me, which is kind of important. It's, uh... Not ideal to be uh, killed by your own mob farm. Might as well just put the ender cell oops, in the ceiling like that. Oh, I wanted to uh, close up this so I don't have to worry about anything spawning up here also. And we've got an another setup down below. So now all of these have full power. Put the door back in place. Toggle this on. Yeah, that's working quite well. I can probably put the vacuum hopper back in there. Turn that off. We actually need to swap this over to chicken because I need a bunch of chicken eggs. Not eggs. Uh, raw chicken. Wow, that's uh, that's taking care of them so fast that the uh, the vacuum hopper is having a hard time keeping up with all the chicken. Do I need to put more speed upgrades in here? Do I have more speed? I do. And then we've got the ones up top also, so when spiders decide to want to climb up into the corners, they will still be taken care of. So, we reached level 55. I now have an unspent skill point. An unspent expertise point but we've also never gotten a trinket and that kind of annoys me so we are going to spend the last of our echo war and make a blacksmith room blacksmith inscription go over here make a architect crystal and apply all these different inscriptions, get it to 100%, and then throw as many ornate as I can onto it. 10 minutes for one room, that should be perfectly fine. And now let's start adding ornates to it. And it maxed out un unmodifiable with three curses and 250%. Ornate. So let's see, I want moats. I've got three very nice moats here. Inert, shulkered, and poor. This vault is lightweight, so do I float? Cooldown reduction is not that bad, but the poor is poor. I definitely don't want that, so we're going to use this moat 
of Sanctuary removes all curses. It's a little overkill for what it is, but I didn't have three of the normal blue motes to take care of that. All right, let's see what my item quantity rate is right now. 12. And with this set on, 33. Okay, so we have our item quantity set, which does have a lot less health and durability, but I mean, I hopefully won't need to worry about it too much. Especially with our pick. I mean, our tools here, which have a lot of trap disarm. So with this, we should be at 40% item quantity. This should hopefully make it much more lucrative. Okay, I'm actually just going to enchant these with unbreaking because I haven't ever done that. And then we're going to jump into the vault and hopefully get a trinket. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know what the what the um, negatives are. So hopefully it's nothing too annoying. Is that 3x furious? That is fine as long as we don't get any traps. Nope. Oh, turn my magnet back on. Actually pick stuff up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, okay, let's go upstairs and see what we get. I really don't think we were we needed the 10 minutes for this. Oh, really? Nothing spawned there? I'm surprised. Well, this one's a bit crazy. one hiding up there you see that uh, I gotta be more careful I just mind the floor out from underneath me thing I need is to actually that was unlucky it was a double uh trapped as I was gonna say last thing I need is to actually get a trinket and have it go directly into the lava Is that everything? There's actually one in here. I would have never thought of looking in there before. Oh, 
Ooh, I didn't see those. I'm glad I double checked. Just my luck, that would, uh, you know, that would have been the one with a, uh, trinket if I hadn't checked. I'm not seeing anything else, and there shouldn't be anything down here or in the corners. Hundred and thirty nine, uh, hundred and thirty nine chests. Rare plus helmet. Regular a com a uh, scrappy plus magnet. Common plus chest. Common plus chest. Scrappy chest. Scrappy helmet. A lot of plating. Ton of vault dust. Got a fundamental. Good amount of carbon. Uh, what about this one? A lot more gear. I am not seeing a trinket. <sighs> really? Oh, well. Well, no luck there. But we do have a crate back there. We're going to go pop that open. And then we have almost a shulker full of gear to roll. We got a another shield. We got an augment. We got a blank seal. And okay, so now we have the cutting station. Obviously, we're going to want to keep that. That would be borderline. It would depend on how much other durability we have. Uh, we're good on durability, so we can trash that. We can trash this. Trash that. The copious is just terrible. Actually, actually, you can't even get that copious anymore. That's how bad it is. Um, that's pretty good. And I don't think that's good. So we can still trash these. This will give us scrap. Uh, silver scrap and I think a chance for a gem still. We got 81 gems, so we can craft up quite a few more. Click the book. Leprechaun helmet. Lion guard chest piece. Life buoy. Druid helmet. Looks like we got some good stuff. All need is the, uh, the inner tube and we're ready for the beach. Oh, that looks awesome. But I don't think the, uh... The gear is not an upgrade. We lose health. We lose armor. We do get mana and damage, but we also lose item quantity. So it's an all in all downgrade, but it looks awesome. And it's going to go on my model upstairs. Okay. I don't really think there's much here worth holding on to feel bad. Uh, yeah, I feel bad melting an Omega. So that's just going to go back over there for now. Uh, the chest pieces. That's bad. That's bad. I'm going to keep that for the model. I'm going to keep that for the model. Uh, let's go upstairs. That's not worth keeping. That's not... That's not, that's not. Again, we'll hold on to that for our models upstairs. Shield is bad. We'll keep this one because it's funny as anything. Uh, boot wise. Can scrap these three. We're gonna hold on to these. And then a helmet, we're keeping the leprechaun helmet and the druid helmet. Uh, leprechaun, if I can have if I can add health to that, maybe remove the thorns chance and get something like a mana regen. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, that would go into our bag, wherever I put it. I think it's uh, oh, right here. This will go in here so that if we get another augment pedestal, whatever they're called in the dungeons, 
we can add an upgrade to that like what i have on my current helmet which gives us uh mana free taunts all right here's our lion guard set then this is that's dark gladiator so this should be normal gladiator which gets that and i don't think i have a wizard set set up anywhere no we don't so let's toss it right there and lastly let's roll all of these Energy cell, ender cells, plenty of basic cables, some basic upgrades, some osmium, another energy cell, botany pots, basic fluid tank. Ooh, that could be useful because we actually got two of them. We can toss one of these attached to a modular router, put the hopper upgrade in it, put a xp um put this xp vacuum augment into the vacuum hopper and then have it deposit directly into the fluid tank and then we'll be able to get xp from our from our ice spawner farm relic booster packs nothing wow Well, that helps with my emerald situation. Surprised we didn't get anything from those relic packs. Okay, we're gonna run another vault. If we look at my bounty here, we have a elixir vault to run. We complete that and we get a nice bounty prize. So that's our next objective. Ooh, bonus living. That's not bad. Hopefully, uh, there we go. Hopefully living actually gives us a nice amount of elixir. Oh, they are actually pretty decent. And Vault Fighters give quite a bit too. Uh, Skeletons gave nothing. Living doesn't give much either. Living, I meant wooden. Going's pretty decent also. All right, we're not doing too bad. Trap back there. No, look, two chests.
There we go. Used every wrong skill in the book. Sheesh. actually worth quite a bit but I don't feel like dealing with them all day Alright, we got our lodestone completed. I wasn't paying attention. Well, since I already, you know, have my lodestone maxed out. I don't know if charmed mobs will help you complete your lodestone. I mean, they should. But should and does, two very different things. Miss this. Oh, man. I completely forgot about that living room. We missed out on another five living chests. How'd we do, though? Um. I mean, not bad. We got ourselves a completion crate. And we completed a bounty. I want to do this one for the repair core, but cake vaults are kind of annoying. We'll see what we get. As, an, as the next bounty. 
Turn my magnet off. Pop this open. Eh. Nothing too, uh... Nothing too special, looks like. Yeah, none of these are really worth keeping, those gems. Alright, hey, that was fun, though. We, uh, did pretty good. Alright, well, we didn't get a trinket from the earlier run, so we have this expertise point to still spend. I was holding on to it in case we got the trinket to pick up, well, Trinketeer, which gives us the, a 10% chance of not using one of the durability when we enter a vault. Watch, I'm going to spend this and then we're going to get a trinket on the next vault, but we're going to instead put one point into Jeweler here. It reduces the chance of breaking by 8% for the first one and up to 24 for the last. Which means that when we have it fully maxed out, instead of there being a 50% chance of your jewel breaking every time you cut it, it's only going to be a 26% chance. It's uh, going to make it a lot easier to cut jewels down to a nice size. I uh, changed my mind. I rerolled the armor a little bit. We did lose the plus 19% damage modifier, but we have plus 30 mana, plus 6 resistance, plus 8 health, plus 6% mana regen, and 12% item on rarity. So overall, I lose one point of armor, and technically my damage has dropped from 170 down to 157. I think it's a, uh, I think the trade is fair enough. But we're going to call it an end here for today. So I want to say thank you for joining me. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Later.